So I saw everybody is doing this trendy blurry effect. So I said, I got to give it a try and show you how to do it. Step one, select your image, right click, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, blur, and let's select the motion blur. You can tilt the angle and you also can increase or decrease the motion blur. I gotta go with somewhere around 700 and I gotta tilt the angle to zero, click OK. And let's click on the smart filter. Make sure that you're on the black, the black is on the top. Press Ctrl backspace. So it's gonna delete the blur, switch it to white and let's select the brush tool. And with the brush tool, I'm going to paint back the blur on specific areas. I might want to increase the blur a little bit more so I can double click here on the motion blur and you can also increase the blur. I gotta go with 870, click OK and I gotta go to the filter, liquify, zoom out and I'm going to make this blur more longer, only here. And I gotta mess it up a little bit, click OK. And so far it looks something like this. And now I gotta go to the adjustments. And let's select the gradient map, click on the gradient. I'm going to add another line here, click on the color and I'm going to select a purple, click OK, add another one here, change it to yellow, something like that. Click OK and I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to make it cyan and bring it here and click OK. Press and hold shift select both layers, right click, convert a smart object and let's go to filter, noise add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and here you can increase or decrease the noise. I gotta go somewhere around 40, click OK and this is how I make this motion blur effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.